Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use number pooling in Go High Level for correct tracking of numbers and the swapping in and out of numbers in different formats from both local uh, to international formats. Uh, and look, if you're a social media marketing agency and you're running PPC ads, uh, if you're running your own agency and you're running um, Facebook ads, Google PPC, and also cold outreach, it's a great idea to be able to attribute which source your inbound calls are actually deriving from. Now, this might not be relevant for marketing budgets of five to $10,000 or whatever it might be, but when you get to the bigger end of town, if you're playing in the serious space of social media marketing, running big media budgets, Hey, High Level has all of the functionality that you need to be able to run multiple campaigns and track which of those campaigns is attributing to the largest number of inbound calls. And you're able to display the right number in the right format to whoever is consuming the content or the ad, right? So it might sound confusing, but essentially what we're doing is we're providing the right call tracking metrics back to our marketing team or whoever is in charge to say, we know that these ads or this marketing campaign contributed to this many inbound calls. Okay. And there is a correct way to do it. And it is a little bit overwhelming at first, even for myself, but let's dive in and look at the power of number pooling in go high level and call tracking it's amazing stay tuned all right guys so the first thing we want to do is we want to go to our settings and we want to go to our phone numbers and let's just dive right in so phone numbers and here we have a bunch of phone numbers and generally what people are used to seeing is phone numbers listed here but what a lot of people don't really spend a lot of time talking about, certainly in the communities that I'm in, is number pooling. And you really want to start using this um, because it's really, really sophisticated functionality that is very underutilized. So let's dive right in. So the first thing you want to do is you want to add a number pool. Okay, so there's two options here. Um, you can create a number pool that will track visitor activity that correlates to different multiple uh, types of activity, right? So you can have website visitors, you can have um, different keywords in different PPC campaigns. So, um, you know, if, if I'm selling flooring, uh, but I also sell power washing, I want to know... Uh, you know, how much inbound calls do I generate from the different campaigns? And that would be visitor activity. Whereas if I was just going to do a one-off cold email blast and the call to action uh, as a result of that was, you know, call this number or whatever, um, then choose track marketing campaign. Now for the purpose of this demonstration, we're just going to go track a marketing campaign. Then it's going to tell you which visitors do you want to track, right? And so this is um, pretty complicated as well. But essentially, right, um, what we're going to be able to do here is um, look at, you know, visitors of a landing page, which is the easiest one, right? So think about this. If we put this tracking code into a funnel and a page within the funnel is hit, then that's a visitor. Okay, because at the end of this process, we're actually going to get tracking code to use, right? Um, otherwise, we can do, you know, things like search direct, landing page referring, etc., etc., right? And that's, you know, probably for another time and goes beyond the scope of like a 10 minute video. So we'll just keep it at all visitors and now we're going to create a pool. So my pool is going to be called. Uh, my Facebook Q1, right? 
And I'm going to forward calls to... I've got an American. Here we go. Let's get a number. Nine. Uh, five, one. Let me just pause. Now, uh, so this is then now it talks about a swapping number. Okay, so we can keep the swapping number the same as the forwarding number. Okay, so essentially what this is, and we're going to go through it in, in more detail on the next screen. Um, but the swapping number is a little bit different. Uh, it's harder to, to kind of understand. Um, but the swapping numbers are the main numbers that will be shown on the funnel, the ad or whatever. And then you've got the pool numbers, which are the ones that actually are used for tracking, right? So by default, we leave it as the same as the forward, forward number. So let's go to the next step. Great. So um, now we're going to say, you know, what number do we want to do? And I'm going to say, um, let's just do a toll free number in this area code and see if there's a bunch of numbers there. And we're going to go, yep, yeah, cool. Now, this is interesting because now we can do things like a custom whisper message, right? So the call from the variable source, right? So we can be like, you know, call from outbound emails, right? So when an inbound call comes through, that is a short message that plays before the call. And of course, the caller does not hear that message, only the person taking the call. And so look, you could say call for massages, call for nails, call for whatever, right? And if basically, that just gives you that extra level of we know what this call is in relation to. And of course, this is going to be suitable for high volume of inbound calls, but a lot of businesses do have a high volume of inbound calls. And so being able to track the different uh, sources and then being prompted prior to taking the call. Um, and then so we click activate number. That's done this. Those visitors are going to be forwarded to the number that we've done here. Now it gets interesting. So now we have a number pool. We've got a name, which is for Facebook, and then the source is all visitors. It's got a, a number over here, and they're going to be forwarded over here. Now what we want to do is just have a look at some of the information, and it gives you some required steps. So it says, use these numbers below to enable the, the phone number swapping. You've got the difference between a local format and an international format. Okay. Now... You can include this in a JavaScript snippet, which has already been given to us here. So the script for tracking this is given to us right here. So all we're going to do is copy that. And that snippet is being copied successfully. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a real quick demo funnel. And we're going to do a blank page. So we're going to say call... Now, we're just going to leave all that blank and we're going to create it from blank. So, you build out your landing page or your funnel. And I'm going to have real basic Right, on, okay, and then click save, update that. What we want to do is we want to go to the settings and in the body tracking code, we're going to paste the snippet. Click save, and update the page. Now, once you've added the snippet in, all you've got to do is paste that number in that format anywhere on the page, right? And then it becomes a clickable number 
with regard to the browser. Then we've got, you know, call now. And then if I click preview, you'll see it actually changed from what I've put in there to the swapped number. So it's saying call now on that number. And usually you can just do an incognito browser session and it'll do that. So that'll recognize if someone's in country, give them the international format. If they're not, give them local, however you've done the configuration. And then when those inbound calls come through to the forwarded number, you get the whisper message telling you where they've come from. So a lot to, to talk about there, a lot of configuration options, but in terms of ads that go to calling or attribute, uh, correct attribution for call tracking, this is how you do it and go high level. I hope this was helpful to some of you. Thanks very much.